Hi guys, Michelle here from Supply with our continuing series on how to apply and use our medical products. Hey guys, today we're going to discuss how to apply the Bragg Polar Care Hip Pad, and this applies to both the Bragg Polar Care Cube and Kodiak systems. So when you get your pad in the mail, it's going to come in a sealed plastic bag. The first thing you want to do is check to make sure the part number is correct. The Bragg Polar Care Kodiak and Cube systems are not interchangeable, so these pads will not work on each of the systems. Notice this is a sealed bag. Once this bag is opened, it cannot be returned, so please check to make sure you cut the correct pad. Also with your pad, there's going to be a paper just serving as a reminder to make sure that you did in fact get the correct pad and showing you some pictures that the connectors are different for the different pads. You're also going to see a QR code. If you scan that, it's going to take you to our YouTube channel where we would love for you to subscribe. And then you can see all of our videos and it allows us to post even more videos for you. The other thing you're going to get in the bag or the box is the skin warning label. Never put the pad directly on your skin. The universal protocol for ice is 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off. Please check with your physician to make sure you're doing what he or she is asking you to do. We also do sell sterile dressings. These serve as a barrier between the pad and your skin. They come in a sealed bag. Once you remove them from the bag, you stick them inside your pad and every time you go to place the pad on, your barrier is intact. And now we are ready to apply that hip pad. Now that we made sure that we had the correct hip pad for our system, we're ready to apply it. So the hip pad is going to come with two straps. These Velcro pieces can be removed and can be adjusted. And that way it helps you fit the strap on a little bit better depending on your body type. And before we apply the pad, we are going to use a sterile dressing. So you're gonna to wanna to put your sterile dressing in place in the pad before you apply it to your body. And of course, you can use whatever barrier you would like. We're just going to use the sterile dressing for demonstration purposes. All right, so the sterile dressing is in place, the pad is covered, and we're ready to put it on the body. So, we're gonna put on the long strap first, which is the one that goes around your waist. So we're gonna attach it here, we're gonna bring it all the way around, and attach it in the front. Now, the straps are designed for different body types, so if you're smaller or larger, it's made to go around you, and on him, it's a little bit longer, so you can always feel free to cut it if you would like. After we apply that one, we're going to apply the one that goes around his thigh, and bring it around, and attach it. And the same applies to this one as well. If it's a little bit too long for you, you can just trim it. Now, once you have the pad securely in place, you're ready to get your cooler. We're gonna apply our ice, and we are going to use the freezer bags, which are available on our website. These basically take the place of ice cubes. You fill them, you freeze them, and they make blocks of ice, which keep the water colder and don't melt as quickly as ice cubes. And we're gonna be able to use three of them in the cooler. Once you've placed your freezer bags or ice in the cooler, you're gonna fill the water to the fill line, replace the lid, lock it into place, and then take the hose from the cooler and before you hook it together, you're gonna to push down these two metal tabs. Then you're going to hook the hose from the pad to the hose from the cooler. And when you hear that click, that means it's in place securely. Now, once we've done that, allow the patient to get comfortable if they're going to sit in a chair or lie on the bed. Take your power supply, plug it into the back of the lid on the cooler, then plug it into the wall, and you're ready to go. And keep in mind, rule of thumb is 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off. Thanks for following. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, shoot us an email at cs at supplypt.com or give us a call at 1-844-505-8144, Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern Time.